Hello makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video because I'm going to be testing out the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Stack. I recently picked this up on sale. I believe that this originally retails for $48, which is pretty crazy for four eyeshadows. Um, so I would never buy this full price. I got it for $30, I think, which isn't quite as bad. Um, each one of these shadows has 0 .082 ounces, so they are pretty big, really decent size. So this particular stack is all really fun, colorful shades. There is a really bright green. I have not put these on my eyes at all yet, but I did swatch them, and they are super messy, and um, they've got lots of kickback, which is why I'm going to do my eyes first today. And then the green is called Xenon, and then there is a super pretty yellow, which you can see how messy the inside is. And that is called Neon. And then there is a super bright orange. That is called Radon. And then the last shade is the super bright pink Radioactive. So as far as the quality of the little stack goes, I was definitely surprised by this. I thought it was going to be soft touch. I thought it was just going to feel... I mean, it's not light, but I thought it was going to feel nicer just because of the price tag. Um, but... It, they kind of just feel like checkerboard pieces and then the very top one is a little mirror even though um, I guess it makes sense to keep the stack closed but at the same time it's like the mirror is so small it's pointless like you can't actually do your makeup with that also all of these shades are available for purchase individually I think they're like $13 each or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the yellow shade which you can see tons of powder flying up oh gosh and I'm going to put that in my crease. I really like the tone of this yellow. It's very like sunshine. Very pretty. So I'm just going to kind of blend that out. So I do like that so far. It's super bright. I feel like it looks just a little bit patchy. So I'm kind of going to add a little bit of extra product. So this shade, it looks matte, but it has like little sparkles throughout it, which I kind of think are pointless, and they're like literally all over my face right now. I'm going to go ahead and go into the orange shade next, and I'm going to take it on a slightly like more like tapered little crease brush. I'm going to be super careful, tap off all the excess, which there is so much, and I'm going to put that in my crease. So I think that these eyeshadows definitely work so, so much better if you tap them in instead of just kind of like trying to blend the way you normally would. But even, gosh, that looks, that looks a hot mess. Okay. I don't know if it looks as bad on camera as it does in person, but it is, it is not looking good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the edges. Okay. So I just feel like I just put all that color there and it's like not even there. It's not even like picking up. So I'm just going to kind of pull my lid up a little bit and like blend a little bit harder than I normally would. Try and get that in my crease. I like the shade. Like it's like neon. It's just not working with me all that well. I'm going to go back with my previous brush and just try and blend it again. I'm going to zoom you in real close so you can see what I mean with my eyes right now because they are just looking not good. So that's what it's looking like. Don't mind this outer corner because I could clean that up, but do you see like the choppiness? Okay, I'm going to take all the excess product off my blending, blending brush and just sit here and blend this. using the P. Louise base today, which is pretty sticky. So normally I don't have a problem with blending on it, but... Mm, I don't know. I feel like I completely lost the yellow on this side. And this side is just a hot mess. Okay, I'm going to try one more shade on this and see how it goes on the lid. But I think I'm going to end up wiping this off and maybe trying it with a different eye primer or something. Because this is just not working for me. Here, let me just go ahead. I'm going to pick up some 
of the neon pink shade, which was one of the shades I'm most excited about. Tap off all the excess. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an area right there. Like, I'm packing it on. It's, like, not even wanting to stay. <sighs> Same thing on this side, too. Let me just blend that out. It looks a little bit better with the lid shade on. Like, if you just pretend, like, cut that we had this all cleaned up, add a wing, everything, I guess, like, I could make it work. But honestly, like, it's, it's not blending very well. It looks super, super patchy. So I'm going to zoom in one more time so you can see what the lid shade looks like. And then I'm going to take this off and we can try again with a different eye primer. Even though I've had no problem with the P. Louise eye primer with any eyeshadow that I've tried so far. It's so, like, hopefully you can see, like, all the different patchiness right there. In the crease here, even worse on this side right there, there's some right here, like it just, I don't know what's wrong with the eyeshadows, they're just not working for me, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I zoomed you in a little closer this time, but that's fine. Um, I tried to get the eyeshadow off as best I could without taking off my brow, because I really did not want to have to do my brows again. So I'm just going to go ahead and this time I'm going to try out the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer with the stack. Just throw a little bit of that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take any powder will work and set that area. Alright, round two. Here we go. I'm going to start off by taking all the product off the brushes that I used. Start fresh. Using my Swispers Cleaner. This is like my favorite thing ever. Alright, once again. Starting off with that yellow shade. So I definitely feel like it's blending a little bit better, but the color is not quite as intense. Definitely building it up a little bit. Okay, so far definitely looking a bit better. I'm going to go ahead and go into that same... Oh gosh, oh man, I do not like the packaging of this at all. Like, I literally just... This is like the worst packaging idea ever. No offense. I just feel like this is messy. It's not easy to just go between shades. Like, it's just... It's like a cool aesthetic. Like, it's a cool idea. But it's... I don't know, it's just, I don't think it's very functional. Okay, so I'm trying to add that orange in. Definitely doesn't look anywhere near as pigmented on this eyeshadow base. Just gonna build it up some. I saw people saying that the Gemini palette wasn't as good as their normal formula, but honestly, I liked the Gemini palette better. Okay, I'm going to go back into that previous brush, just blend. So they're definitely blending a lot better this time, but they just don't look anywhere near as pigmented. So, like, I ha obviously I put down the, the powder and everything, and that was to help them blend, but yeah, they're just, I don't know, I'm just not impressed right now, especially for the price. So I'm going to go ahead and take that same shade, the pink. I'm just doing exactly what I did before. Pick that up. Just put that on the lid. So it's smooth on the lid now and it's not sticking in different spaces. But the pink just doesn't look anywhere near as vibrant. Like look at all my lid compared to in the pan. Okay, so I guess the look is okay. It's not, it's it's wearable. It's not, like, blending horribly this time. So I'm going to keep going with it. Um, I'm going to go back into a little bit more of the yellow because I feel like I lost some of that um, in blending. I'm just going to put that over top. Just make sure you can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this fallout. I'm going to do most of my face and I'll be back to do the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that bright orange shade and use it along the lower lash line. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and take some of the yellow and just kind of blend underneath just a little bit. And then I don't know how this is going to look, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a pop of neon green in the inner corner. So I'm going to pick some up on the brush, tap off a whole lot of excess, and throw the green right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. I'm going to do some lips, probably some House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I will say that I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really pretty. I like the look, but I just feel like the shadows were unnecessarily hard to work with, and I feel like at the price point that they're at, that they should definitely be better. Um, so I'll go over all the cons in just a second, but I will say that this is not like a complete write-off I will keep trying these shadows I will try them with a few different primers and I will update y'all in the future if I can make them work better But just the fact that like the primer that I always use like how badly they were working And then I had to use another primer and they weren't just weren't very pigmented okay, So all the things I don't like about the stack for one. I really just don't like the packaging I originally thought it was super cute like a nice idea, but it's just not practical It's really really messy especially with the formula of the shadows and every time you want to like change change and use a different shadow you have to like go through and check which one is which or I mean obviously you could try and remember what order they're in but I just feel like it's just like a lot of work to just to even open up the eyeshadows um, another thing that I just don't like is well the formula in general there is so much fallout it's crazy like I literally have like follow like because I kept tapping off my brush like everything in front of me is coated in like pink yellow green and orange from this stack I just feel like mm, it almost it resembles the um Anastasia uh what was that called subculture palette but not quite as bad as that like I could definitely get this to work I tried that several times and I could not get it to work for me so I don't know I'm just I'm really not impressed by the formula I'm really disappointed and also there is tons of glitter I don't understand like what the point of doing a matte shade with a bunch of glitter in it is like even I mean it could still have glitter and it would be fine but the glitter fallout was so bad like my entire cheeks were just glitter which I had to go wash off because of the yellow shade so I don't know I'm just like I said I will give it some more chances I will try it with different eyeshadow primers but for the price I am so so disappointed like even for getting it on sale, I just feel like for me it's not worth it. I would rather, honestly, if you're looking for these types of shades, I would definitely just suggest um, investing in Sugar Pill. I think Sugar Pill is a lot better, a lot easier to work with. So that is that is the end of this video. I'm disappointed. I'm sad. I hate doing videos where I'm disappointed, but that is the truth. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.